It's been 802 days since the invasion. No communication, no government, no hope. That was until we found the queen. She's the key, they said. So why do I feel like nothing's changed? I still feel like crap run over twice. Come on, Cupcake. We gotta get out of here. We've got this whole area wired with explosives. We've located the nest, the just general location. Once we destroy it, the queen will come out. We should be ready for her. As you know, if we kill the queen, the rest of them are gonna stop fighting. Deja freaking vu. Wait, wait. Ah. Thought we already killed the queen. Ah, that was probably one of her generals. She's not gonna come out till we destroy the nest. But for your personal plaques of valor above and beyond the call of duty, I present each of you with this medal of honor. <laughs> already got a pair. Funny couch monkey. Hey, you know these you're still kicking! Hey! hey. How's it going? It is good to see you guys. Hey! Are we gonna do this thing or what? Who's this guy? <laughs> Whatever. Look, we only have one shot at this. Who's that guy? The name is Death Smoke. Remember it. I'll be waiting on you, pug. That's Trevor. He can build a bomb out of just about anything, so we made him our demolitions expert. That's good. But he's a little trigger happy. You'd be too if you saw your whole family give birth to alien scorpion babies. Right? Congratulations, boys. You're now part of Sector 6 Division. Promotion. Puck, puck, puck. Yeah. Oh, uh, you gotta check this ship out over here. Come on. Come on, guys. Sometimes we find alien ships that have either crash landed or been abandoned. We try to reverse engineer the technology so we can find out what makes these alien suckers tick. So that whole thing with the pill and the detonator, what was that? Heck, we're in the middle of an alien scorpion invasion. That was plan B, C, or D. Take your pick. Huh, how about D? Ha, <laughs> works for me. Hey guys, check it out. Some alien must have pulled over to take a piss because look at it, it's a beauty. I've never seen one in that good a condition before. Hey, I got dibs. So you guys go as plan, and I'll provide cover from the sky. You know how to fly that thing. I don't know who you are. All right, I'll be Will Smith from Independence Day. You be Jeff Goldblum, and you can be, I don't know, Data from Star Trek. Wasn't he in that movie? Ah. Scientist or something? You got it, guys. Spitz cupcake. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. I know. Personally, I was thinking Randy Quaid. It's not the, it's the guy with the funny hat. Yeah, good old American Kamikaze. <clears throat> Here we go. I've seen a lot of different people on the road since the invasion. These men are not military trained at all. They're fast food employees, construction workers, zookeepers, or even lawyers. Well, maybe not lawyers. Like myself, they're normal, ordinary people just doing what they have to, to make a difference. Fate didn't choose them. They chose their own. It's only when the lights get turned off, you really see who's glowing. Fire in the hall, boys! Sucker down. Um, I don't have it, Sarge. I left it with the medic supplies. Really? You had one lousy job to do? Hug out. All right, guys, we gotta get a hold of that RPG. Let's go. Get out of here, guys! Go! 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 
Got <laughs> nice job, Keaton. Oh no, you got company coming. Oh, come get me, Shaggy. <laughs> We're at Keaton, yeah. The boy Keaton. change now? Not overnight. The battle will continue and we-